trigger warning guys if you do struggle with weight do struggle with food do struggle with anything to do with like body positivity and anything to do with your body and eating habits and stuff like that then please click away from this video because i'm going to be talking about eating habits i'm going to be talking about um weight loss and all these things and i don't want to come to you guys and make you feel like less than so please if you feel like this video is going to trigger you then please just click away now go watch any of my videos so without further ado let's get into the video so i don't wear t-shirts i feel very conscious self-conscious right now because i have a belly i have long handles i have man boobs right now Hi everyone, my name is Miguel Vidalis, I'm a phlebotomist working in London. I make videos about phlebotomy, general lifestyle and also my journey into nursing. So if you're interested in that then please subscribe and join the family. I've realised that I've always been, I've always had a slim body. I think I've I've always fluctuated between 50 to 65 kg, I never used to go above 65 kg. One thing that I do have though is a very major sweet tooth. But living with my parents and obviously having grocery um, being bought by my parents i was that was completely under control because they barely used to buy like very sweet foods but going off to university first or second year i was fine but in third year guys i literally went from like um eating meal preps throughout the whole day to like ordering food nearly every every dinner and guys it was just it was it was it was not fun it was not good it was just so embarrassing because at the end of like the week i had my room was filled with trash because i was just eating Put trash away, put the trash on the side and continue studying, studying. That was my routine. Eat, put trash away on the side of my, my room or in the bags and continue studying. That was just my schedule. On and on and on and on and on. I wish I had more time management, guys. Like, I had, to, I really had to choose over my health or my studies. And if I had more time management, guys, it, things would have gone so much more smoothly. I would have come home, I wouldn't have to deal with um, this very, very bad eating habit that I had. And unfortunately, I developed emotional eating. Um, in first year of university, which was not fun. It was not fun. So, as I said, I created a very bad habit with food and um, I developed emotional eating. So after I graduated, I went back home to my parents' house <coughs> um, and we were going through some hardships as a family that made us very tight together. But, and it put a lot of pressure on myself because I was the only um, English speaker in the house. So I had to deal with a lot of things. But I used to like, um, drown my sorrows and drive my emotion in food and I would just be eating my life away. If you guys have followed me um, to past, this past few years, I actually posted a video called, uh, called A Change Is Needed. I felt that this video put a lot of pressure on myself because I was like, I want to lose weight. I, I said I'm going to change, but yet I'm still eating like this. And that was not fun. It took like what guys, I've only, that video was posted nearly two years ago and I've just lost weight now. But you know what? It's okay. It's not a process. Weight loss is not just a a, a thing that like you just stop eating. No, it's a process. There was also a lot of pressure in me, not that put on myself because I was a nutrition student. I felt that I'm a nutrition student. I know the repercussions that eating like this has. I know um, all of these diseases and about all these things that my uncontrollable, uncontrollable eat, eating can cause. And yet here I am eating like this, guys. <laughs> I used to hate so much. My parents used to go to church and say, oh, my son is a graduate, a nutrition graduate and stuff. And they'd be looking at me. I'm there in the corner eating bread like a snack. Like. So going home, guys, and being unemployed just made things so, so, so bad. That I gained so much weight, guys. My chest, my, my thighs. Guys, I'm built like my mum. That sounds so weird. <laughs> like I'm, I have the body structure of my mom, so I have a very small torso and a small waist, and really big thighs and stuff. And whenever I gain weight, the weight goes straight to here, my chest and my thighs. And guys, I felt so gross, like so so gross. I had such a bad, I had such low self confidence. I'm working on it right now. I can feel myself being so much more confident now because I am losing weight. And you know what's bad is that. Um, I never had, as I said, self-confidence, and I needed like a motive. 
I needed the motive to actually be able to lose weight. Like I had a crush on someone and then I said, yeah, I'm going to start working now, I'm going to start going to the gym, I'm going to start eating healthy because I want to lose weight for that person when I need to lose weight for myself. You guys, my confidence was going down by the minute um, because like <laughs> I, um, there was once when I was actually at a church and I was singing and I was wearing this white top and in this white top, I can see that my belly was protruding so, so badly. And I'm like, oh, whoa, it's that bad. Guys, oh, man. And people's comments, guys, that, that was not good. There was once I was sitting down in a circle at church. And then this lady came and said, Miguel, you've gained a lot of weight, you know? You've gained a lot of weight. And since then, that made me feel even worse. When already I was struggling. Be careful what you say. You never know what people are going through. So, like, whenever you say things... Please just be very, very cautious because you don't know how the person will receive it and how they will manage it and how they will internalize it. So please be very, very cautious. That really ruined me. Really, really did for a long time. <sighs> Yikes. But enough about the backstory. Let's get into the actual juiciness. So I felt so low in my life and I felt that I needed to really, really up myself. I needed to improve myself. And that started with me realizing that I need to be confident in myself. So I felt so low and a lot of things in my life were changing. Like I was applying for university. And I feel like I need, this area of my life needed to change as well. Like, uh, it just needed, it needed a revamp. Like, I need to look at myself in the mirror and be like, yes, I'm comfortable with how I am. I had to accept the way I was then, but I said, enough. I need to change. It's okay, but now for you to, for you to be the person that you want to be, for you to be confident, get your confidence back, you need to change. And that is what made myself, you know, kick myself back into gear. And then I messaged my friend once, and I told her, I will lose weight. I held myself, I held myself accountable. I said, I don't, know what, I don't know why I'm saying this message, but I just want you to know that I will lose weight. So you guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, then please comment below. If you guys want any more um, weight loss videos, then comment below and I will be sure to deliver. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.